1990 Fiat Ducato 2.5 diesel this one imported into the country in 2008 so it's a left hand drive Quite a big thing this not a bad little thing for 1990 that's for sure but wise we'll start off the bonnet work our way around onto the interior then we'll go for an engine start up nice and straight across the bonnet no big dings no dents or corrosion Obviously you had some work done at some point around the windscreen, which you can't see there. There's a colour discrepancy, but it looks like it's been sort of roller painted a little bit. All the grills and headlights are in, in one piece, no cracks to those, no bits missing. A little bit of a mark on the bumper corner there, the fiberglass. And we've got some some tape as as an insert there for, for whatever reason. Again, another mark on the right hand side bumper corner. Coming round and down the arch on the right hand side, you'll see we've had some work here again. It's the same colour as the scuttle, various bits of filler, I think, going on there. The door itself is all nice and straight. Metal side steps there. Uh, pretty good for an old fiberglass shell. Really. We've got various bits of uh, repairs that it's had over the years, which is pretty common on a camper van, especially one this size. It's quite a big thing. Right hand side rear corner again, repairs there, touches in, touches in, touches, touch ins. Get the words out today. Touch ins and some slight colour discrepancies. The odd light scratch down the side where it's obviously been a little bit close to a hedge. And a few more marks across the side at the top there, which you can see. Nice big awning that comes out. All the windows are nice and crack free as well. Coming round to onto the rear there, nice and tidy across the rear, but the corner has got a mark on the right hand side. Checking the left hand side now. A little bit of a mark there, but not too bad. The rest of the rear is all nice and tidy. Got some nice comedy factor stickers on there as well. Coming round onto the left hand side again, nice and straight down the left hand side on the fiberglass side of things. Around the seams there, we've got a few bits of touching and a few uh, where it's been painted it's a slightly different colour across the lower half there. Coming back again, the windows are all nice and clean and tidy. You've got solar panels on the roof, I've been informed as well. All nice and tidy across the side panels with one or two little marks, but not bad at all. Working forward onto the driver's door because it's left hand drive again. We've had various repairs on the arches there. You can see with some surface coming through, some sanding marks and some filler marks there on the front wheel arch. Interior wise, we'll start off with the front door. Again, the door cards lovely and tidy on the door cards. The seat itself is not too bad. A little bit of wear, but not too bad. Nice and tidy across the dashboard. No uh, cracks across the plastic dashboard in there. We will go around onto the left hand side now. Was driven to the sale as well this one on to the left hand side again door cards all nice and tidy right hand side bloody hell i'll get it right at some point on to the right hand side there nice and tidy across the seat there a the little bit of wear to the far bolster and again carpet's all good as well into the back now little door to the rear of the right hand side we've got a step there as well the door is good itself there Barn, barn style door carpets nice dark carpets smells pretty good in here we've got a uh, all nice little cupboards there with a two burner that's that is the splash isn't it like that we'll move that out of the way and we're going to have a two burner hob there it's a little bit of a splash card there two burner hob i'll open this cupboard up as well so we can have a look oh you've got a fridge in there as well and then under the sink there, Toby's going to open those up again with your taps there for the for the gas, I believe. All okay in there. Into the back door here. You've got a storage cupboard there, a little wardrobe and shower, I believe. Gas heater there. Another bit of storage here. As we come across into the main living area. Got some exhaust there. Fold down bed, presumably that folds into a bed. Roof itself looks okay. Got a little bit of tape around the lights. And then the front wood section here is also another bed there as well. So there you have it. A bit shabby chic in here. Looks like the 1990s, that's for sure. Doesn't smell like it, so that's okay. Toby's in love. And there you have it. Toby's going to fire it up for us. It's the interior. Like I say, it's a 2.4 diesel engine this one is it non-turbo yep. yeah non-turbo i can't see a turbo in there non-turbo Toby's gonna fire it into life
firing into life there, a little bit of noise from that old diesel engine. And there you have it, the 1990 Fiat Ducato, imported in 2008 that one.